Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and a big warm welcome to our recent subscribers. Uh, today, I've had the car, I think, officially for about uh, just over two weeks. And here are 10 things, or the top 10 things that I feel like every Model Y owner should and must know um, and set up as soon as they own their car. Let's go. So the first one is all about resetting the touchscreen. Now, it could be for a variety of reasons. I mean, it's technology at the end of the day. It could be touchscreen is not responsive. It might be your music stopped playing or it keeps glitching out. It could be anything really. So long story short is what we want to do is reset the touchscreen and hopefully that fixes it. So all you need to do really is to put your t uh, fingers or thumbs on the two buttons here at the steering wheel, the scroll wheels, and you just need to hold them down at the same time wait a little bit and then you should see the screen restart a few moments later so once it's done uh, it's gone black screen you'll see the tesla logo and then it should load up and hopefully touch screen is all good to go okay and there you go touch screen seems to be all okay so number two on the list is power cycling your car so what if the touch screen is still not responsive or what if there is something wrong and you need to do I guess a full shutdown and power cycle this is literally um, shutting it off and on again or turning it off and on again so hit the car settings on the bottom right go to the safety section scroll down and then hit power off it will then ask you are you sure you want to turn the power off place foot on brake to turn power back on so what we want to do is hit power off you may potentially hear the noise in the background, which is essentially just everything shutting off. The aircon's turned off, the seats have moved back to a default position, and it's all off. And now we just want to wait a minute or so before we turn it back on by stepping on the brakes. So we'll give it a minute. All right, and let's try step on the brakes. and everything's turned back on there you go all right the next one here we're going to be talking about sentry mode so absolutely something you should enable uh, for your peace of mind around recording if anything happens close to your car so you hit the uh, car icon on the bottom right opens up the car settings you then want to go down to safety and then sentry mode over here you can just hit it on now for the ones that don't always plug it in every single night you can potentially just hit uh, excluding home. What that means is you won't get experience phantom drain, which is essentially just more or extra battery usage uh, whilst you know the car's parked at home. Or if you want to keep it there for a peace of mind when you're at home for the car to continue recording when it is required, then of course leave that unticked. There are other options here, as you can see, for exclude work and exclude favorites as well. But um, either way, you just tick it as you go and it saves as you go, and then you just leave it on and it's got information on exactly what sentry mode uh, talks about over there. The key thing to take out of this is additional battery power is consumed while sentry mode is active. To enable sentry mode, battery level must be greater than 20%. So just know that when you drop below 20%, uh, probably is going to switch off and it won't work in that regard. Next one is just below the sentry mode setting. So item number four, we are talking about the dash cam settings. So in the car function settings, go to safety, dash cam, it gives you information here. Generally speaking, it's just saying uh, save up to 10 minutes of your video to your USB when your vehicle detects occurrence of a safety event such as accident or airbag. You do also have the option to manually save videos and you've also got a on honk function which essentially means when you honk your horn, it automatically saves. So over here, dash cam settings leave it on auto and on honk what that means is at any point in time so down over here you'll see the camera button and then the dash cam button if you just push that button it will also start saving there or you could honk on it as well and it, then it would also auto detect so i feel based on that you've pretty much covered all bases it tries to record automatically when it can you can also manually record it through pushing the button on the screen or honking your horn all right, number five and number six on the list will bundle together. They are all to do with pin numbers. So you've got down over here in the safety section, pin to drive and glove box pin. So I've already set up a pin here, but essentially uh, you just need to tick that. 
you'll, it'll then ask you to enter your PIN. So then you need to create a PIN, you enter it twice, and then you're good to go. So once it's enabled, every time you put your foot on the brake and you want to pull down the lever to start the car or to move the car, it'll ask you for the PIN. You need to enter it in, and then off you go. In terms of the glove box, with the glove box pin currently off, you could just say open glove box and it'll open. Let's test that out. So we'll push it on the steering wheel. Open glove box. So you can see it's opened over there. Now if we close that. And now we go glove box pin. Now that's enabled, so we try the same thing again. Open glove box. So you can see now it's asked you to put in a pin number. And there you go. Next one on the list is how we manually unlock the front and the rear doors. So for the front, normally you use this button over here, however the manual one is actually this here. So it doesn't really look like a button, but actually over here, if I can move this from underneath, you can see it slowly moves. If you pull that up, that will essentially help you open the door, and it's the same on the other side. And let's jump over to the back. So the back ones are just inside here. So on the door itself, this is the right hand door. In the back, you'll need to remove this bit over here. And then it's that red one there. So just flick that, pull that, your door will manually unlock. Next one we've got is around manually releasing the charging cable. So for whatever reason your charging cables are not opening, just need to open the boot. Come over here and let me just see if I can face up the camera. Alright, so underneath here you can see that little string over here. So if you put your finger in there and you give it a yank, that should manually release the charging cable. Second last one is our general safety. So if you get in your car, let's just say you've come in your car, normally uh, if, if you're someone who always locks their cars, you'd normally hit a button somewhere over here or up, up over here. In this case, once you close the door, actually if you just go to where your car is, you just need to hit that lock icon and there you go, you've locked the doors. All right, and lucky last, we have some notifications. So in your car settings, go to the lock section, come down to car left open notifications. I leave mine on doors and windows with a lock confirmation sound, close windows on lock. That way, if anything ever happens, I will get the notification. You will also need to remember to uh, enable notifications on your, on your phone app. So as an example, I'll put it up on the screen as well. You open up the app, you go into the settings, and then you just need to make sure that push notification settings for the car is turned on. All right, guys, that wraps up another video for us today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe for more content. Um, and let me know what you think about the 10 safety features that I've listed. Uh, if there is anything else that you feel like is absolutely worthwhile in letting other new and upcoming uh, Tesla owners know, or if there's something you think I've missed, then drop it in the comment box below and we can continue the discussions there. Other than that, uh, we'll have more content soon, so we'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.